Hey, I'm really excited to be asked over to tell how I received the Holy Ghost because that was 30 some years ago and it's just as real now as it was then. It happened in August of 1974 and it was in a country farmhouse. I was in college. I didn't even know speaking in tongues existed until a college room uh, classmate told me about it. And as soon as I heard that speaking in tongues existed, there was something real with God that I didn't have yet. I wanted it. So I started seeking it in college, in my dorm, telling the Lord that I wasn't going to go to sleep until he gave it to me. I was so hungry for the Holy Ghost. But I didn't receive it. And I didn't know how to live holy ways. Um, so finally, I had a chance to come home from college on a break and go to a little uh, country prayer meeting with people that were full of the Holy Ghost and Preacher Clark, who's an, an anointed man of God. I was so excited, but I didn't know how to dress. I had on a sleeveless dress, short. We wore mini skirts back then. And, but I did the best I could. I did all that I knew to seek the Holy Ghost. And so we came to the meeting and Preacher Clark did something that I've heard that he does not usually do because he was not a form person. He was a follow the spirit person. He asked everybody to stand up and hold hands and thank the Lord. Well, I, before that, I had been glued to my chair, excited and nervous. But when he asked everybody to stand up, as soon, I didn't even have time to hold hands. As soon as I stood up, it was like the ceiling in the whole farmhouse just evaporated. And there was a direct line just between the Lord and I. And the Holy Ghost fell on me, and I started... My whole body started shaking. It was, it was the sweetest thing. I could feel my mouth moving, but I was ex so excited and so much concentrating on that direct line between the Lord and I that I could not hear myself speak in tongues. Besides that, there was a lot of noise in the room because I was getting the Holy Ghost and people were excited. So I started bouncing all over the room, hugging people. And I could feel my mouth moving, but I could not hear myself speak in tongues. So I could not wait till after the meeting was over to get alone uh, and test it out for myself. And I did. I got home and got still and got alone. And there it came, that sweet little stammering lips through my mouth talking to the Lord. Just, just letting it say anything I wanted it to say, it, anything it wanted to say, because it was the Spirit speaking through me. And later on it became clearer tongues, but I got received the Holy Ghost with stammering lips.